Hi, I'm Jason and welcome back to part three. So quick update, we've signed up to Oracle Free Cloud Tier. We've created a virtual machine. We've managed to log in to our virtual machine through a PuTTY terminal window. So if you've kept up with me so far, congratulations. I did say it was going to be a little bit technical, but as long as you follow along, I'm sure you can be at the same stage I am right now. Okay, so we're going to add some applications to our virtual machine server to make it easier for us to going forward. So with the terminal window that we had open in the last session, I'm going to type sudo space su space minus. And notice now that's put me in root user or super user, if you like. And the next command we're going to use is apt update ampersand ampersand apt space minus y space upgrade space ampersand ampersand apt space minus y install curl wget sudo and don't worry I'll put all of these command lines down in the description below so we'll let that install eventually when it finishes you should come to a pink screen like this where I'm just going to press enter for OK and I'm going to tab down to OK and press enter again now the next command I'm going to put in I'm going to cheat a little bit I've already got it copied onto my clipboard so I am going to put it in like that. Whoops, something went wrong there. Let's try that again. That's better. Now this may take several minutes to finish. So while that's going on, let's go and open up some necessary ports that we're going to need on our virtual machine. So we're going to go back to our virtual machine here and you see where it says virtual cloud networks. I'm going to select this and then I'm going to drill down on the subnet and I'm going to drill down on the default security list okay now in here I need to set some more ports up and the way to do this is to select add ingress rule now I can already see that I've got port 80 and port 443 set up these two are essential 80 is for HTTP access and 443 is for HTTPS access so if you haven't got those already, add those in the same way that I'm going to show you how to add the rest. So come up to Add Ingress Rule. And over here in Source, I'm going to type 0.0.0.0 forward slash 0. And the ports here, I'm going to say I want to open port 20. And I'll put a comma because there's another port that I want to open up. And that's 21. And these ports are specifically for... FTP file transfer protocol so I'm going to add that ingress rule and I'm going to go and add another one so again 0.0.0.0, .0 forward slash 0 and this port I'm going to do a range of ports 4915 to 65534 and these are also for FTP and lastly I'll add one more and this is going to be for our control panel or as it's known the cloud panel and that runs from port 8443 so we'll call this cloud control panel which is what we were in the process of installing just before I came here so I'm going to add that ingress rule. So we can see we have 80, 443, 20, 21, 4915 and 65534 and 8443. Just in case, uh, oh it looks like I've got the ports around the wrong way there anyway. So let me remove that one. I might as well have just shown you this in the, in the first place, haven't I? Just done it properly. So again... 0, 0.0.0.0 .0 .0 forward slash 0 
port 80 that's going to be for HTTP and the same again port 443 and that's going to be for HTTPS okay that looks a lot better let's go back and see how our terminal window is doing so we're 67% through so I'm going to use the magic of time to speed things up okay we can see the installation of cloud panel is complete so notice this HTTPS IP address this is the IP address of our server with the port 443 at the end I'm going to make a copy of that and I'm going to say reboot so we can reboot our virtual machine so we're going to lose connection which is understandable so I'll give it a minute to reboot okay so I've speeded up time a little bit I'm going to close this window now because it's pretty useless to us because we were cut off so I'm going to open up putty again and we're going to open our Oracle VM that we saved earlier and we can see we're back in welcome to cloud panel all looks good now that HTTP URL that I copied earlier I'm going to open another fresh browser window up here and I'm going to paste that in and press enter now it does say your connection is not private um, we, if we just click on advanced this is this is normal at this stage so we're going to click on advanced and we're going to proceed anyway so now we have got to our administration area of our control panel so this is where we can now set up our admin user so I'm gonna create my admin user and we'll put a password in actually let's retype that time zone we're in let's have a look for where am I London there you go I agree and create user so now I can log in with my username So this control panel is going to make things a lot easier going forward. We won't need to mess around with command line terminal windows anymore. So let's go up to the admin area up here. And I'm going to go down to settings. And I'm going to change my domain name. So if you weren't using a domain name, you would put the IP address up here. But because I'm going to add a domain to mine, and if you remember, I called mine admin dot one to one media dot co dot uk and i'm going to click save okay now that's been saved let's test it out so i am going to log out of this and i'm going to re-log in but this time we're going to log in to the address of admin dot one to one dot media.co.uk admin dot one to one media dot co dot uk and there you go it takes me straight to my cloud admin page fantastic so I can log in again and we're back in Let's save that password. Okay, here comes the exciting part now. If I come up here to add site, we can see that we can now create a WordPress site. So I'm just gonna click that. And the domain name for my WordPress site, I want it to go straight to one to one media.co.uk. And we can set a title for our site. You can call it whatever you want. Let's just go for one-to-one um, -one media 
and it gives us the site username, the site password, the admin password, and I can just say create. And then when it's created, we get a nice message, WordPress site has been created, and it gives you all the information about your IP address, your logon names, your passwords, which um, I would advise um, it's probably best to print this out and keep it safe. Obviously, don't leave it somewhere on your desktop that someone could potentially get hold of this uh, valuable information. So I am going to copy that lot. And I'm going to open up a Word document. And I'm going to paste it in. And I'm going to say print. OK, with that done, let's go back to sites. And now we can see our domain. So I'm going to click on Manage, and I'm going to scroll down a little bit. I just want to make uh, a couple of settings. I want, let's change a few things here. So my PHP version, I'm going to select a, a higher one, 8.2. Memory limit, that's fine. One minute exclusion time, that's all fine, that's all fine. Post max size, I'm going to say 512 meg maximum post size, and I'll do the same upload and I'm going to click on save the reason I've gone for a size of 512 meg is so that if I wanted to I can import web whole websites of that size or export them of that size if that makes any sense now we need to add a free SSL certificate remember before when we tried to get to the page it came up with some sort of warning saying it wasn't safe well, let's add SSL, and then under Actions, we'll select New Let's Encrypt Certificate, and select Create and Install. OK, let's put this to the test. Let's open up another browser window, and I'm going to say www.121media.co.uk. And there we are, straight into a website. So, OK, so if I now say forward slash WP hyphen admin, it gets us into our WordPress admin area. And if you remember before, it gave us all the information for the sites, the database and the WordPress username and password. So let me try my username and password for WordPress. I'll have to copy and paste it because it is quite a strange password and log in and I'm straight in I mean come on how cool is this we've set up our own hosting on Oracle we've created a control panel to make our lives easier in the administration of the back end of our virtual machine we've installed WordPress We've added a secure socket layer certificate for absolute free. I have a four core, 24 gigabytes of RAM server now to start working on my website. So I think we're going to call it there for this part. And the next part, we're going to look at what we need to do to uh, prepare our WordPress website. Um, there's, there's going to be a couple of hints and tips of what to do when you've got your first WordPress website up. So I hope you found this journey interesting so far and well done if you've managed to keep up and I'll see you in part four. Thanks for watching.